He can move, even if he is quite hurt. You can't move. You are an absolute imbecile, aren't you? Now, why have you gone and done that? I leave you for five seconds and you drive into a ditch. Hello, everyone. My name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket once more. Uh, and I just want to start this video off with a thank you uh, just for the response to the last couple of videos. It's been really good for my channel and um, it, it, it feels good uh, to to get some kind of traction on these videos. Uh, so thank you very much. And uh, without any further ado, without spilling too much to you guys, um, we're on to the next idea. So the first idea on my list of viewer suggestions, which I now have, thank you, um, <laughs> is a British heavy tank. So uh, they suggested the Matilda and the Churchill as um, design ideas. And and those are pretty interesting. Um, I don't hugely want to do just a, a, a flat replica, but I, I feel like I'd struggle to do much more than uh, just build another Churchill, so we'll see what we do. Hello! Post-commentary will again. Uh, yeah, this time it's not because I'm ill, it's just because the spiel that I was talking while I was designing this tank was really boring, so I've decided to speed it up and hopefully I can be a little bit more entertaining this time. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I set off with, with grand intentions of making this nothing like a Churchill, uh, and you'll see as I build it that uh, basically all of my design ideas I, I, I didn't like. They didn't feel British enough. I liked them from like a, uh, <clears throat> a tank design point of view, and if I wasn't trying to fit a theme, then maybe I would have stuck with them. But uh, in terms of designing a British tank, things very quickly reverted Churchill-wise. And uh, we end up with pretty much a replica. So, um, a bit of a failure on that front. Uh, I know just before this I was telling you how I wouldn't do that, but um, I did. So, uh, frankly, <laughs> apologies, but um, I, I guess it was kind of expected. I, I played around with various different uh, things. I, I liked the idea of open tracks, but I also just didn't like how big they looked when they didn't have any applique armor on so i decided to add some of that on and then i uh, forgot to mirror it which is this uh, slightly embarrassing section here and then forgot to mirror it again so i've got to place it <laughs> again which i am a little bit ashamed of but uh, not too ashamed to admit it to you guys here uh <laughs> dear me i can't believe i did that uh, and then I was actually quite interested in what I did on the front. I thought it was quite interesting. I was just trying to merge some pieces together and I made the driver's hatch quite big to give it give it kind of like a the two-plated feel that the uh, Churchill 3s had. Obviously, once again, just reverting to Churchillism. So, a bit of a failure there. Uh, and this is the second tank in this uh, little series of videos where I've got five crew. So, I've actually got a, a commander and a radio man in this one. Uh, the commander is the radio man and we also have a guy in the hull being the um just passenger who would realistically be the uh coaxial machine gunner uh, not coaxial uh, the hull machine gunner in uh, in real life but uh, obviously in this game that that doesn't exist as a role yet so he's just a passenger in the tank serves no purpose but i it, it fits better with the law uh and you can see me playing around with some riveted plates here the uh, because these plates uh, have that exact shape, you've kind of got to improvise when you want to make a tank look riveted. So I will admit they don't look the best, but I think it's the best I could do with the tools that were available to me. Um, you can see I'm, I'm ready to, to give it a test here. And uh, I've, I've forgotten to put a commander's cupola on, so uh, <laughs> I kind of glitched one in to the turret uh, to make sure that I had one at the very least. Um... And at some point soon, I don't know if it's now, but I also upped the caliber from a 40mm, which was my original plan, to a 57 because I just couldn't squeeze out the performance necessary from a 47mm uh, a gun <laughs> that I uh, would need for it to be any kind of effective force on the battlefield. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the finished product now. You can see me just adding a lot of armor. This thing has a lot of armor, which you'll see in the fights upcoming. Uh, and possibly might even be the best one I've built so far. We'll see. <laughs> we really have just designed a Churchill here, haven't we? 
coming to that realization this is just a churchill <laughs> i know i said i said it let's let's not make it just a replica it essentially is really oh well let's see how she does <laughs> the definitely not a churchill onwards to battle <laughs> We've got 70 millimeters of penetration and we're going to try and put it to good use because we have a lot of armor to go with that. So hopefully... Oh god, the uh, RPMs are high. I'm going to have to fix that. That's not going to... Um, not going to bode well at all there. Let's drop that way down there. I didn't notice that it put it over all the way up at 2. That is quite crazy. Definitely want a uh, final drive a little bit lower in the uh, rev range. Here we go. Shouldn't be over revving now at all. Might struggle with hills a little bit, but um, perhaps just need to change the gearing a little bit more so that the lower gears give you a little bit more acceleration. We'll see. I've been hit, which is very rude of them. Okay, non-pen. I'm not hugely surprised by that. Turret rotation is poor. Ooh. Okay, that's gone through. Uh, let's see if we can do that a couple more times. Oh, dear. That's, uh, that's a miss. Damn. Okay, we can go through the front plate, it looks like. How about the sides? Ooh, not at that angle. He's jumped. <laughs> He's done a jump. There we go. Got his track, got his track. Hopefully he wiggles his side a bit towards me. Yeah, there we go, got him. Uh, who's he? Oh god, I haven't seen one of them before. Oh no, I have, it's a crumb tilder. Okay, okay, no problem there. We've lost the Mark 27, which I am slightly surprised by. It does have a lot of armor, so what the AI was doing to get penetrated by these enemies, I am not entirely sure. Because I'm having no problem repelling all of the firepower that they're sending my way. At the moment, at least. Maybe uh, maybe if we track this one. Again, struggling with the hill a little bit, but uh, not too bad. Oh god, that's not actually tracked him. I thought it did. Uh, transmission, maybe? There we go, that's gone. How much gun depression does he have is possibly a good question to be asking right now. Ooh. And have been killed from the side. How many did we even get there, then? Looks like we only got the two. Which is interesting. Um, I guess it is... I mean, it's 23 tons. You wouldn't think we'd get that little in the way of um, support. Can we up that turret traverse just a tiny little bit? Just as much as possible within our space allocation. Because we are... Really uh, squeezing in as much as we can physically get into this uh, space allocation. <laughs> and I don't think we've got a fundamental problem with the tank. I think we can do it with this tank. I think we just need uh, a little bit more luck there. Okay, we've got two allies. I didn't see the second one die, so obviously it must have at some point. But uh, see if we can do a bit better this time. There's a Crom Tilda. Bit low. A bit higher. Too low still. Oh my god, first shot! Really? Uh, this one doesn't have a working gun. Apparently. Not as this one. Right, that might explain why they didn't do very well. Why do they not have gunners on theirs? That's interesting. Um... They just don't. This one's the only one that has a gunner. That is strange. And makes this a little bit more difficult. Because I am essentially fighting a one-man battle here. Right. I've got to be a little bit worried now. Now that I know that LT Cromwell can just go straight through the uh, front plate of this tank. Which we are now facing again. However... 
It is a very LT, in the sense that I can pen right through the front of it, apparently. Again? Look at that! That's three for three there! Uh, pretty good firepower when it actually penetrates, but it is struggling to get through the um, armour of some of the enemies we're facing. That's a bounce because of the angle. Get through the side here. Maybe not. <laughs> Take out the track, maybe? Ah, uh, no. No, still not penetrating. I am quite surprised by that. I thought I would. Maybe now, on the front. Not getting a lot of luck. There we go, there goes his track. Still not able to penetrate. It's proving a tougher target than I expected. I just... I'm not going through anywhere, am I? I don't know uh, what's up with that. You're dead. You're dead. I think there's another one over there that we haven't got in our sights yet. No, I think he's dead. Oh, we killed three, didn't we? So, yeah, it looks like this is the last guy. Well, I guess I'll just move up, because uh, if there's no risk of me being flanked, I can flank him no problem. Uh... I just want to get a better shot on the side of that turret. He's facing the front towards me now. Did that go through? I can't tell if that went through. Didn't look like it did. Just... This is strange, this. <laughs> I killed the other four, no problem, from a longer range. But this one just will not die. That was a poor shot there, to be honest. Can't blame anyone else on that one. Still not going through. Still not going through. There we go. Okay, we fi <laughs> finally went through. That is much better. Okay, so it has succeeded in its first ever mission. And oh, look, it gets kill stripes on the barrel when it kills someone. I didn't notice that. That's really neat, that. Ooh, he's got quite the... <laughs> shell hole there um okay we've done this one twice before so we know what we're dealing with here we've got anti-tank guns one hidden behind these uh, bunkers and one off in the dist well two off in the distance we've just got to find them and i'd imagine they're actually pretty capable of penetrating these tanks even if they are pretty heavy in terms of armor so if I can get eyes on one of these AT guns in the forest before we engage, that would be hugely beneficial. Watch him. I think there's one there, maybe? No, no sign there. Oh, God. Definitely one back behind that building. Slightly concerning uh, that I haven't seen the ones in the forest yet. Oh, hang on, there's one. Speaking of, got him. Uh, we haven't lost a Mark 27 yet, and there have been a few shots from that side. Is that the anti-tank there? Yes, it was. Okay, right, there's the two forest anti-tank guns dealt with, and we definitely know where the last anti-tank gun is, because... Uh, are you quite all right there? <laughs> Are you you good? Yeah, he's fine. Oh, maybe I should pay attention to the anti-tank gun aiming at me. Get back. There we go. He's dead. Okay, ammo rack damage. Luckily, it didn't detonate. Um, Are you dead, my friend, or will you be able to move out the way? He can move, even if he is quite hurt. You can't move. You are an absolute imbecile, aren't you? Now, why have you gone and done that? I leave you for five seconds, and you drive into a ditch. Well, 
For God's sake. Right, you. You haven't even got to the battle yet, so you're our only hope now. The other two have driven into a ditch. So <laughs> the British Army, everyone. <laughs> My lord. My lord, indeed. I can't believe that. Now, we do have a pretty poor gun. If I do say so myself, there's only a 57mm, and it's not very long, so it's not going to punch through the heavy tank we have to face on the other side of here. So, uh, we are going to have to flank it. Hopefully, this tank won't die in a single shot from it, but it does have a very big gun, I am quite aware of, so, uh, maybe my hopes are misplaced, but, uh, we will see... And perhaps we will die, but um, we can hope not, because then it will be two for two on these missions. Definitely didn't fail the first of the uh, Crossroads mission. That didn't happen. Okay, here he is. I've got my two tank traps as friends to support me in this fight. I am absolutely shitting bricks, I would like to inform you. Because this thing, I'm pretty confident, will just blast right through my armour. However, we have very little choice other than to face it head on. Charge! He's missed! He's missed! That gives us a second... Shoot his tracks if you can. Maybe reverse. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I don't feel safe. Don't feel safe at all. Oh, God. He's so mobile in a turn. I can't get to his side. I don't know if I can do anything against him, actually. He's too big for me to... Oh, hang on. That's his transmission, I think. Yes! Now we can get to his behind. And finally have our revenge. Yes! <laughs> the Allen has fallen to the Churchill. <laughs> Yes, you've defeated so many of my tanks in the past, Alan. But today, today I have defeated you first time. <laughs> God, it's big, isn't it? That thing is huge compared to this. I thought this was a fairly, uh, fairly decently sized tank. You've got to bear in mind, Churchill wasn't actually that big of a tank. So, uh, in the grand scheme of things quite happy with this as a uh, as an accidental replica not really what i intended but uh you know what all's well that ends well <laughs> thank you for watching please have a like favorite and or subscribe leave some suggestions in the comments below if you have any and uh hopefully it won't turn into <laughs> another churchill anyway i will see you in the future goodbye